frozen shoulder. Ever heard about that? On today's Ortho Tuesday, Adazive Capsulitis. Frozen shoulder is a relatively frequent pathology that affects around 2% of the population throughout lifetime. This is a painful condition. Patients present with unspecific pain surrounding their shoulders and very important stiffness of this articulation. Frozen shoulder can be primary or secondary. The primary frozen shoulder is that one that we can call adhesive capsulitis and it's an unknown cause, very more frequent, about five times more in the diabetic population and it affects patients from 40 to 70 years of age. Although very painful and compromising while in activity, frozen shoulder is a benign condition and the great majority of cases leaves no harmful consequences or disabilities and patients usually are able to rehabilitate to their previous state of the pathology. Now I'd like to show you some illustrations and try to clear out this concept. So here we have the shoulder anatomy. We can see here the humerus, the, the arm bone, and this is the scapula. But covering them, we have this complex ligamentary capsule here. This gives stability to our shoulder. In the context of a frozen shoulder, what happens is that this ligamentary capsule is contracted, contracted and very stiff. So this is an intense inflammatory process that causes pain and stiffness to the shoulder. This figure represents what's going on during frozen shoulder pathology. So a normal shoulder joint has this relation. We have um, the ligamentary capsule permitting movement to our shoulder and at the same time giving us stability. During the frozen shoulder or adhesive capsulitis process, this capsule is intensely inflamed and very contracted so the shoulder becomes stiff and painful. I'm Dr. Eric Curie. This was today's Ortho Tuesday. Thank you for your time. I hope you learned a little bit about frozen shoulder. Tomorrow we have Wednesday quiz and stay tuned for more.